Question number one. By observing line graph, answer the following questions. A. In which month do you find maximum temperature? In the month of May, you find maximum temperature. B. Write the temperature of August month. The temperature of August month is 33 degrees Celsius. C. In which month do you find the lowest temperature? In the month of January, you find the lowest temperature. Question number 2. Write short notes. A. Statistical Diagrams Answer. Statistical diagrams represent statistical data. They are in the form of points, line, rectangle, circle, sphere, etc. Everything that exists has some dimension. Things can have one, two, three, or more dimensions. Length, area or volume of a thing is measured with one, two or three dimensions respectively. A point is supposed to be a non-dimensional identity. A line formed by innumerable points joining together is a one-dimensional, that is 1D diagram. A number of lines put together close to each other form an area which is called a two-dimensional or 2D diagram. Figures like square, rectangle, circle, etc. that have an area are two-dimensional diagrams. Objects like cube, sphere, cylinder, etc. that have a volume are three-dimensional or 3D diagrams. B. Line Graph A line graph is a one-dimensional diagram. Two elements are shown in this graph. Usually, Time is shown on the horizontal that is x-axis and the variable which could be population, value, etc. is shown on the vertical y-axis. Method Now first we'll select the scales on both the axes on the basis of the highest and the lowest value in the statistical data. Number 2. Mark time period on x-axis and the other element on the y-axis. Plot the points in the graph space with reference to the values on the x and y variables by intersecting the two values. Number 4. Join all the points by a line. Write the scale, title, legend, etc. Uses Line graph is very useful to indicate trend and values over a period of time. It is a very simple method to show population growth, industrial growth, profit, prices, etc. easily. It gives an immediate visual impact. C. Simple Bar Graph Answer A simple bar graph is a one-dimensional diagram. It is also known as pillar diagram or column graph as bars are also called pillars or columns. These bars have no specific width but all the bars are of uniform width. 
the height of the bar is proportional to the value of the variable element. The vertical y-axis indicate the values of variable, while the horizontal x-axis shows various regions or years. Method Select the scale on the y-axis on the basis of the highest and the lowest value of the variable factors in the given data. Plot the points that will determine the height of bars. Draw vertical bars or columns up to the plotted height. Shade these bars for better visual impact. Write title, scale, legend, etc. Uses Bar graph is very useful for the comparative study of a variable factor over a period of time or regions. Agricultural and industrial productions, population of various regions, etc. can be shown effectively with the help of a simple bar graph. D. Divided Circle A divided circle is a two-dimensional diagram. It is a circular graph proportionally divided into sectors to represent different sub-factors on the basis of their values given in the statistical data. To calculate the angles of these sectors, the following formula is used. Angle of the sector is equal to sector data upon total data into 360 degrees. Method of drawing First, select the size of radius. Second, calculate the angles of sectors. Third, draw the circle and divide it according to the angle calculated for each sector. Fourth, shape the sectors. 5. Write the title and prepare a legend. Uses This method is useful to show land use pattern, export-import, different vehicle sales, agricultural production, use of electricity, etc. Advantage It is very useful for comparing data and understanding the proportion of each sector as a part of the whole. It gives a very good visual impact. Limitation It gives only a comparative picture. Exact values cannot be calculated just by looking at the diagram. Question number 3. Draw a simple bar graph by using the following data. Here is the bar graph drawn by using the following data. 